What's going on gamers? Welcome to my next video, new video. Uh, this is gonna be a little video with trick, tip and trick for people that are 14, 15 item level and above for the future, for the next couple months until next released raid. Uh, for basically, for those who can have access to an item called Fuse Leapstone right here. I'm gonna talk about it, this one specific item today. So pretty much, uh, I know all of you guys are super stoked about getting these every single reset to getting your free homes as well. But hear me out on this one, right? So we have, some of you have statics for raiding. Uh, I have as well. And in our static, we have decided to focus on 1505 item level or 1510 item level. And I will explain why. So with our recent roadmap, we uh, know that Kaku Sidon is the next after Rikus Legion Raid will be released in uh, one month and a half from now, I think. It's going to be in September. So we can pretty much see the pattern of the bosses again being, being released. So we can say that Brel Shaza could be released in uh, December. And with Brel Shaza, there comes a new gear, new relic gear that we are supposed to craft and transfer our current gear, which, is, which are these relics, onto those new relics. Basically same stats, just different item levels. I will show you uh, the conversion of the items. This is from Korea. So we are looking at... Uh, let me uh, pop this up. We are looking at... Uh, this is your old gear right here. The plus 20, plus 21. So if you're a plus 21, everything. 1505 item level. Your gear will be plus 13, but you will be at 1520. And the reason for that is... I will show you now... Uh, Barrel Shaza has gate from 1 to 6, and certain item levels unlock you next gate. So, the first item level for gate 1 and 2 is, as you can see up in the right up corner, right up there. Uh, gate 1 and 2 is 1490 item level, gate 3 and 4 is 1500 item level, and 5 and 6 is 1520. So, our goal is to get to uh, 1510, 1505, so we can uh, then... Kill Brel Shaza from the gates, craft a gear, own that gear, and be at higher item level to access higher gates, pretty much. So, there's a TLDR. You guys can stop video, just read it. Uh, this is how many mats you can get for the gates. Uh, for the first time, uh, clear gate 1, you can get 30. Auction gives 5 more at gate 2, 4, and 6. If you transfer, you gain 20 item level per piece, as I showed you in right up there. Once again, sorry, right there. The left side each home gives seven item levels and uh, till they are if you are 1490 which is once again plus 20 everything you can only do one two three four and the first week so if you are 1505 like i talked about you can get one piece then hone that piece seven times to 20 for 1520 and you can access the five and six gate so this is pretty much our main goal right now uh, I have two characters right now, Berserker and DB, so I'm pretty much saving these Fuse Leap Stones. I will have a lot of them until Brawl Shaza releases, which is going to be, you know, from now, like, five months, four or five months, give or take. And uh, so when it releases as, as a static group, we'll see how many people will be there or at the same item level when Brawl Shaza releases. But uh, this pretty much concludes everything. With the name of it as well, right here. Hold on. Use leap stones blue gem right here so you guys can get me catch me uh, live on twitch the the link is down below in the description or below the webcam as well as some tiktok join my discord for the community as well and uh i will see you in the next video I'm gonna focus on budget build for both for berserker and deathblade remaining energy level one and mayhem level one and i will do some dps tests as well with my mains and with, the, with those budget builds as well like what rotation so until then, you guys have a good one. Thank you for watching and see you soon.